it's uh, going beyond questionnaires of asking people what they eat, but going into the molecular characterization of uh, how different types of uh, food, vegetables, uh, and um, uh, fruits and other, other components of our diet, how on a molecular level they can impact uh, what's, what's happening with uh, human health and during disease. There are several aspects where computational biologists can uh, participate in cancer research or any other disease research. Um, one is that uh, they help in uh, analyzing large molecular data sets and inter integrating and interpreting results from these data sets. More and more, uh, this research also enables us to generate novel hypotheses of uh, disease origins or, or progressions through the disease that basically generate hypotheses that can be then validated through biological experimentations. So the study really started with um, paper from uh, Nanjing University that um, identified non-human RNA in a human blood. And that opened the possibility that the microRNAs may survive digestive process and potentially then influence uh, expression of human genes. Looking through the epidemiology, broccoli is uh, one of the kind of on the forefront of anti-cancer properties. So we wanted to kind of uh, test the hypothesis that uh, it might not be the chemical or fiber or other kind of nutritional value in the broccoli, but it might be really the molecular mechanism that provides the beneficial effect. We made these predictions across uh, over 500 organisms and what the potentially regulatory mechanisms are towards the human genes and all of this data is uh, available publicly on our database. Hopefully other people will eventually, based on this paper, start uh, really considering this potential option and start exploring and validating some of these findings. I'm Igor Jurisica and I'm a senior scientist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center.